This video will demonstrate how to use the offline maps functionality in Uinta software. Offline maps allow you to download and clip the area where you're going to work so that you can have satellite imagery and bring that with you to the field, even when working with an, in an offline state. So you can also do this if you want to avoid a uh, cell modem or internet connection and you still want to see that background imagery. Start by selecting any project in Uinta. Make sure you're connected to the internet so that you can see your background in satellite imagery. Select the layers icon on the top right. Expand the online maps and offline reference maps categories. Make sure you zoom to the area or the job site where you're going to be collecting field data. You can change between the different types of maps to download. In this case, I'll work on and download the Bing Maps hybrid. So if I'm going to be zoomed into my location, I can open the maps layer, open the offline reference maps, select edit, and select create new. And what you want to do is highlight the area and where you're going to be working and where you want to see that offline map. You can download a much larger area. You can download a, a smaller area. If you try to download an area that's too large, you will get an error message that says, would you like for me to download as much as the software is able to, but it may not be able to download the closest layers. And in that case, you can download multiple offline maps and you, you are able to turn those all on at the same time to create a larger map. In this case, if I'm happy with this job site location, I, I highlighted the area that I want and I've had a default name assigned to me here. In this case, I'm gonna change it to something more meaningful, Juniper Systems and I'm going to select download. It's going to download all of the different map layers and it's going to be a tiled based map. So now if I go back to my offline reference maps, I now have the Juniper Systems map layer available to me when I go to the field. And you're going to want to do this on the device you're going to take to the field. So next, I'm going to simulate and show what would happen if I were to go outside and I didn't have an internet connection by turning off my online base map. If you don't want to see these grid lines uh, out there, uh, you can turn those also off in the offline reference maps layers and turn off grid lines. Now, it's also important to note, you can always collect field data without any background imagery. That background imagery is just served from the internet or referenced from an offline reference map. So you can always go and collect your data. Whenever you get that internet connection again, that data will be spatially referenced and in the right spot, and you will have that background imagery again. In this case, if I was outside collecting field data and I wanted to see that background imagery, I just now need to turn on the offline reference maps. And now that area that I had previously highlighted is available to me. I can zoom out, see all the different layers and the tiled imagery below. And as I mentioned previously, if you had multiple map layers, you can turn those all on at the same time. Other related features to offline reference maps, if I select the edit button, these tiled base maps are downloaded as an MB tile format. You can view those and manage those, delete those, and, and maybe even transfer them to a different device uh, by selecting manage offline maps. At this location, you will see the junipersystems.mb tiles format. If I wanted to move this file to a different device that had you into software, I can copy this file, put it on that other device, and on that other device, I would then only need to import it at that layer. And this offline reference map that I previously downloaded will appear on that device as well. If you have any questions, please contact us at Juniper Systems. We'd be happy to help and assist you. Thanks.